setting up for Facebook Live, so we're getting there. We are live. Perfect. Um, so, hello everyone. This is our employer spotlight live with Tech Systems. I'm Leslie Walton and I work in the University of Tennessee Center for Career Development and Academic Exploration. And we have with us today a Gabby Richardson who works at Tech Systems and is also a UT alum. So we're happy to have her back to share a little bit about tech systems and um, opportunities for students. If we do have students that come in live, I'll try to monitor the chat and see if anyone has questions for Gabby. Um, so Gabby, thanks for being here with us today. Um, I'd love to just start with, just generally tell us a little bit about tech systems. Perfect. Um, well, first off, uh, thank you, Leslie, um, and thank you, T, for having me back and giving me this opportunity to just be able to talk about the awesome company that I work for. Um, as far as tech systems goes, um, I'll introduce a little bit about myself. I've been with the company for three years. Um, I started out as an intern um, and now am a account manager over our telecommunications division across all of East Tennessee. Um, as far as about tech systems, uh, our company, we are actually the leading IT staffing and services provider um, across the nation. Um, we work with a lot of the top clients um, across the US, Europe, and Asia, basically just to provide um, the best IT talent. Um, locally, we support clients like um, Discovery, pilot. We even support the University of Tennessee from an IT standpoint. Um, so we do a lot of work with like their OIT department. Uh, so yeah. Great. And um, can you talk a little bit about what the entry level position is that you generally uh, recruit for? Of course. Uh, so we actually recruit for recruiters. Um, to start out at our company. Um, you kind of come in um, and start in those shoes. And so that kind of is, hey, you know, looking for individuals that are looking to probably grow into sales, but we also have a recruiting talent acquisition pathway if that's something that like you're really passionate about. Can you explain a little bit more about what staffing is and maybe what I, maybe IT specifically? Because I think we hear a lot about staffing and, and, and talent acquisition, but there may be people that aren't really familiar um, what that is. No, definitely. Um, so staffing and the services that Tech Systems kind of provides is, say, for example, we can use um, any client around, for example. Um, and they kind of come to tech systems and we have what I do basically as an account manager, um, building relationships with a lot of the managers that are that sit in IT locally here for um, lack of a better term. And we build those relationships, go out and say a manager, you know, comes to me and says, Gabby, we're looking for a software developer. Okay. Mr. Manager, um, we've got a huge network um, of people that are looking for this type of role. You know, can you tell us a little bit more about what exactly you're looking for, just so we can basically provide the best value? Because um, that's going to be the most important. Is we want the whoever's going into those shoes to be um, the best fit for that opportunity. Um, so I would say that from a staffing side, um, it's kind of just, hey, you're going out and building relationships is the easiest piece of this. So to be a good recruiter, you really have to be, you know, genuinely um, involved with building those relationships, um, getting to know uh, some people that are here locally. Uh, I got the opportunity to work with incredible individuals that I still have relationships with. Um, I have a 
baby now and I send pictures to my kids uh, or pictures of my kid to these people and um, just because that's the kind of relationship that you've built um, and it's uh, a really cool um, relationship that you can build. And that is a good segue to my next question is what types of students and new grads are you looking for? Is there specific um, majors or qualities or experiences that you like to see? Um, I would say from a major standpoint, um, we typically look for individuals across like communications, business, um, marketing, those, those kinds of um, backgrounds. However, um, you know, there, there's some individuals in our company that came from, you know, an IT background. Uh, there's some individuals that came from like a science background. Um, I think that the, the, the key aspect of that is where you, um, I guess, where you want to go. Um, some of the things that we do look for kind of to build off of the question that you asked was um, what we look for. We look for really highly motivated, driven people, which sounds super generic, um, but we're looking for go-getters that like, hey, you wanna come in and you wanna work really hard for a company that can honestly give you a ton of opportunity. Um, so that's what I would kind of say. Individuals that um, also can probably balance like work and school is another aspect um, that we kind of look for. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be work in like, hey, I work at a restaurant. It could also be like extracurriculars. Yeah. And you were a former intern at Tech Systems and, and moved into the full-time role after that. So can you share a little bit about what your experience is like as an intern? And if you are hiring for internships now, a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I came in as an intern um, of goodness, the summer of 2018. Uh, and it's a 10 week internship program. We actually, side note, um, are hiring for an intern um, this summer. Uh, and so, but outside of that, um, it's a 10 week program. You basically get to do the job, learn the job. Um, I had the opportunity to go into my last semester of college with a full-time opportunity uh, after I graduated in December for January, which was incredible. Uh, and something that, you know, really uh, struck me about the internship was just, hey, this is a company that has a great culture. So the key about an internship is it gave me the opportunity to one, learn a little bit about a company that I potentially wanted to work for after graduation. It also gave me the, the opportunity to just learn about um, what kind of environment I wanted to work for. And, and so um, that's what I would kind of say about that is you, the purpose behind wanting to go and do an internship is just to, hey, learn about, you know, what you're gonna like and what you're not going to like moving forward into what's gonna hopefully be a good, strong career for you to get out of college with. Yeah, that's definitely a great point about internships is it's just a, not only about gaining experience, but to learn about what you enjoy and what you maybe don't like in, in a, job. Um, can you talk more about the culture and why did you stay after that? What do you like about it? Um, so I would say that Tech Systems, honestly, we have an, an unmatched culture. Um, and the reason why is I would say that um, we have a very like family oriented, team oriented um, environment. I would say that um, we, I'll give an example. Um, we had a coworker that kind of his daughter came down with, um, I don't know if you're familiar with COVID, but there is like a, a reaction in um, almost teenagers that basically causes some like repercussions. And his daughter got very, very sick after post having COVID. Um, and we just, 
absolutely loved on him. We, you know, got a food train together um, and just really supported him. And I think that that just goes above and beyond on like, hey, you know, this is a company that not only is are we just people that get to work together, but we're people that really genuinely care about each other, the well-being of each other and the family aspect of it. Um, another thing that I will kind of hit on is just that um, we have a really good work-life balance. Um, and like, we like to work really hard, but we also like to have fun, so. That's great. Definitely value a work-life balance. Um, <laughs> Are you working remotely right now? What were the, you know, what changes you had, did you have to make at the company during this time? Um, are you guys back in the office? What does that look like? Um, so right now um, we are kind of on a flexible schedule. Um, we are back in the office. Uh, I work four days a week in the office. However, there are um, others that work two, um, two or so days in the office. Um, obviously during COVID times, we worked 100% remotely. Um, it gave us that opportunity too. And we've got a company that kind of supports that as well, kind of from a higher level. Um, and then as far as, you know, kind of moving forward, um, I would say that for kind of anyone coming in, um, we are looking for, for a more in office, setting um, just to kind of facilitate some of that culture um, and then of course you know as things continue to progress we kind of assess just based off of you know COVID restrictions and where we're at kind of from that perspective. Great. And you mentioned you were nationwide tech systems right are there specific locations that you're hiring for right now or if students are interested in going to certain areas, how does that work um, in the hiring process? So we do have about 100 different locations just across North America. Um, I obviously, I sit locally here in Knoxville, Tennessee. We are hiring, I would say four individuals in the immediate future, um, like right now for Knoxville and Chattanooga. Um, and that's kind of the area that I do support is um, the Knoxville in our Chattanooga office. Um, outside of that, it, for say instance, there's someone out there that says, Hey, I really just want to get to Chicago <laughs> for, for example. Um, I do have an internal recruiter that would be able to get that person in front of the right people, um, for that location. And, um, a couple more questions. Yeah, of course. Let me look at my list. Um, well, where can students apply? Is it do you have positions on Handshake for, for both your internship program as well as any full time roles? Um, where can they apply? Um, so we do have a website. Um, if you just kind of go to, you can even Google like, hey, Tech Systems, T E K Systems, just like it sounds. Um, and click on the career opportunities. Uh, you can definitely apply from that aspect. As far as other ways to kind of reach out, um, I will have to check on our Handshake page. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not directly responsible for our, our Handshake page, uh, but I can definitely you know, get that sorted through um, so that it's most easily accessed by students. Um, the other option is um, I'm pretty connected to the College of Business um, Haslam group uh, through Dr. Mackey. Um, we do a lot of uh, hiring and connecting through her. Uh, I actually served on our SHRM executive board while I was at UT. Um, and, and so I would say connect with her and she's got my email. And then also, um, you know, I don't know if you guys share emails or my contact information through here, but this would be a great way um, can connect with me on LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And um, do you have any other like advice just generally since you've been in recruiting for a couple of years now and also went through the experience as a new college grad just for students who are job searching and, and transitioning from a student to, to a professional? What advice do you have? I would say that my biggest piece of advice would be to just take, take initiative, you know, 
be a go-getter, go out there and take your future into your own hands. Um, even if say like you've talked to a company that's not hiring because they're on a hiring freeze, freeze right now, just continue to stay um, connected with them, continue to send follow-ups. Um, I would say that as uh, someone that sits on our internal hiring board, that that's gonna like having a follow-up is huge and it goes a long way just because so many um, people don't send follow-ups, don't um, stay committed to like, hey, even they even if they said they like me, I didn't hear back, you have that initiative to be able to reach back out to them, even if you feel a little bit like, oh, is this right? Um, so that's what I would say is just, um, nobody's gonna like hand you a cupcake, right? So. Yeah, that's great advice. And lastly, as an alum, maybe you're a little bit biased, but, but why do you like <laughs> to recruit and hire UT Balls? So I would say that we honestly, our office is probably filled with half alumni from the University of Tennessee. And of course I am a little bit biased because we absolutely have some Tennessee Tech uh, some Tennessee tech crews in here. But um, I would say that we understand the integrity that kind of comes from being a Tennessee ball. Um, we know the, the program, the courses, um, and the connections that you can kind of build being there. And so that's what I would kind of say is um, knowing have been through that, uh, you kind of almost have a little bit more respect, if you will, um, for having hire, to hire some of those individuals. I love that, the integrity <laughs> of, of our calls. That's great to hear. Um, Gabby, is, is there anything else that you'd like to share about tech systems or the positions that you're hiring for? Um, no, I don't think so. I, I think that this has been awesome. And like I said, I'm super thankful. I think that it's great to have um, this little piece of technology that has um, launched us forward. Um, like I said, I kind of touched on it a little bit. We are looking to hire about four individuals, um, honestly, as soon as possible. We're actively hiring. And so if there are any individuals that are out there that are looking for you know, a full-time job after graduation, um, we are ready to extend offers, um, like I said, in, as soon as possible. And then down the road, we also are still looking for about four to five others um, kind of moving forward, for example, the summertime, uh, in addition to a summer intern. Wonderful. So, and you said the best place at this point to apply would just be going online at Tech Systems and applying through, through there and possibly Handshake, um, but I would say first step would just be finding your website. And Absolutely. Um, and like I said, if they want to, if anyone wants to reach out to you to get my contact information, um, would be more than happy to connect with anybody that has any questions, um, or shows any type of interest in, you know, even learning a little bit more about what tech systems is. Yeah. Gabby Richardson on LinkedIn, right? That's where they can find you there too. Absolutely. I did get married. So my last name is Fabrizius now, um, okay. but Richardson is still there. <laughs> Good to know. Well, thanks so much, Gabby. I won't keep you any longer, but thanks for being here and sharing a little bit about tech systems. Um, I think you guys have got some good opportunities for students. So hopefully if we have any students watching or new grads um, that you're interested, get in touch with Gabby or apply online. Perfect. Thank you so much, Leslie, thanks. for your time. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. Bye.